I felt in love with the house and I saw the garden and I saw, you know, the potential that I could do in the garden, like a dream garden that I was always dreaming of. We wanted a weekend house next to Paris. I grew up actually uh, half of my time in the nature as I was in Switzerland. So for me, it was back to my roots to be back at the countryside on weekends, especially with four children. For me, it's my number one key project is always to keep the house and the garden very natural. Like it's been there for always, we didn't touch it. I asked Milan Ashinek, who's a very good landscaper in England, I didn't want to do something too French. I didn't want to have too much symmetry. I wanted to have something more English. I was always attracted by English gardens. I want a lot of flowers and I want flowers from April to really end of October as much as I can because it's so inspiring for my work. Here actually was the place where they were keeping all the wood before in the property. And I said to Milan, okay, I want a table here because I want to be able to have the four squares of flowers in front of me and be able to paint them and to have a place where I could design and also a place where we could have lunch and enjoy the view. Behind me, there's a little window um, because of course, when you are seated there, you have that beautiful view of the garden. But I thought also about the people that they cannot face a wall when they sit here. So it's Milan who had the idea. I had, okay, let's put a mirror. And Milan said, no, better. Let's open it on the real view that you have behind. Because I must say, the house has a divine view. On this table, I have those glasses that I um, took in Venezia. I love them. I have them in lots of different stripes, in lots of colors. They mix with everything. Those are the glasses of Joe with the lily of the valley and a lot of the flowers comes from my garden and arrives on the plate and also the colors of the flowers always, you know, inspire me to do my color palettes for all the baby your collection as well. Because, you know, it's a beautiful link between my work and my life. I was obsessed to have a greenhouse. I really wanted to have a a place uh, where I could put, of course, all my plants and do all my arrangements, but also a place where I could have some tables and have dinner. We even spent a Christmas here because there's a heating inside with a lot of candles. I used to have a little brand for children's clothes before Baby Dior, uh, who was C de C. It was in London as well. And the colors of the stores were all in that colors. And uh, Milan came to me and said, you know, I remember you had that special colors on your stores. So why don't we make it that color? And actually it's one of my favorite colors, so we went for that. I love all the flowers. I'm quite obsessed by all different kinds of flowers. In a few weeks, we will have the Japanese animals. I collect a few different types of them, and I love them because they, they move with the wind. You know, it's like the Gora. I love those flowers very, uh, with a lot of space between them. And when you do the bouquet and your arrangement, it gives a bit of air in it. Saying that, of course, I love the roses. I think they smell divine and they're so beautiful in the garden. The dahlias are absolutely my favorite and I love tulips as well, but they're not there now. So you have peonies. And my favorite one are the yellow ones there. Even if I don't like yellow, I don't ask me why. I love yellow peonies. The other side of the garden is much more English and this side is really much more French and I wanted to keep it very simple because the house and the stone is really beautiful. We have a beautiful abbey just next door who has the most beautiful David Austin roses, one of the unique in France who sells. We have few of them climbing. It's quite, you know, like that, very calm and French. And suddenly they go the other side of the garden and it's completely wild and more English. And I like those places very separate and different in the garden. I always say that a house with no flowers has no soul. Uh, it's very important for me. So I have a place in my garden which actually is completely about cutting flowers. And the weekends, I like to pick them up at the beginning of the weekend to make all the arrangement for each room and for the living room. Actually, we have a lot of peonies now going out and uh, foxgloves and 
all of that jazz. So I love to do all my arrangement. It's very strange because when we started to move the lines of the garden and create the garden together, suddenly also my interior changed. I changed some place of furniture, I add few things, the colors change. The house really took life when the garden started to be there. And that's quite fun.